Hi, good to have you back. Today's video is about monitoring and alerting the Vertex AI pipelines. In a production-like environment, you need to be aware if something fails. This also applies for ML pipelines. Today, we go through the steps needed to set up alerting for failed pipelines. Let's switch over to Google Cloud and let's get started. Okay, let us set up our monitoring and alerting for Vertex AI pipelines. So I'm here in the Google Cloud Log Explorer. It's part of Google Cloud Logging, previously known as Stackdriver. And the first thing we need to do, we need to find our Vertex AI pipeline logs, our pipeline ones. And there's a special resource for this, or we can go to resources and we filter for Vertex. And then you can see Vertex pipeline jobs. So this is what we want. We want to filter pipeline job blocks. And we could, we, we can do that. I say all locations and then we apply. So if we now go back maybe a couple of more hours so we can actually see a few block results here, last seven days, takes a few seconds. And then we can see pipeline ones. So I have a bunch of successful ones and also a few which obviously fail. So if we have a look into the, the log entries, we can see if we have a look into the JSON payload, we can see the pipeline name. And if we have a look into the error, we actually also see which component failed. So if we see, we have a failed task called additional packages. So this is great. So we have logs of failed pipeline ones. And we now can filter down to just errors and the previously ones. So we apply the filter as well. So we only get failed pipeline ones. Looks good. Next step, we need to create a log-based alert. This is a new feature. It's uh, just recently released, and we can um, not only filter on metrics, but also based on uh, create an uh, alert on logs, and not only on metrics. So we create this alert, give it a name, Vertex AI, AI Pipeline Fade. You can also add additional documentation for someone who wants to solve the issue, give them some hints where to look, not needed in this case. And we see we, our, our filters for filtering those logs. So we filter for a resource type and the severity. Looks good. Next step, we need to set the notification frequency. So the time between notifications. Or for example, um, if, I have a, just, if I have a pipeline failing twice in a, in a frame of five minutes, I just get one notification. And we can also auto-close the incidents. Next step, we need to set up a notification channel. I have a notification channel. It's called uh, email fail pipeline. So we can also have a look into the notification channels as well. You can see what, what you can set up here. So you can set up mobile devices if you have the cloud mobile app, uh, PagerDuty, Slack, webhooks. So you are fully flexible to integrate it in whatever kind of, of tools you're using and email. And I have an email set up at, as, uh, with a display name failed pipeline one where I want to report the failed pipeline ones. Also SMS and Cloud Pubs are possible. So we choose um, email. So I get the failed pipelines to my work email. Failed pipeline ones. So we select this here and save. Now the alert is, is getting created and is ready to use. So we can now click also to have a look into the view, view alert policy. So we actually see how the policy looks like. Same we just configured. And it would also show you the, the logs if there are any. So let us see how it will look like in action. So I have uh, uh, two components here. And the second one will fail because I'm importing pandas. And pandas is not part of the base image of this uh, component. So this, this component will fail. So let, let us execute it. Pipeline is created. So we can now go back to Vertex AI. have a look into the pipelines and we should see our pipeline running there it is this one is running this one is already done and executed and it should fail in a couple of seconds so here we can see the pipeline failed and usually if you run in a production you don't have this window open so how would you know that the pipeline failed? In that case, because we set up alerting, we are getting an email for it. So here it is. First one, 
And if we have a look into it, we see log alert fired, and we see the vertex I pipeline fails. So this was our policy we set up. And if we click in view incident, we also get more detailed information. We immediately get the, the logs. And we can have a look into it to actually see which pipeline failed. And that's exactly the additional packages pipeline we just started. But this is a this is a great way to inform your team for failed pipeline runs. If you like, subscribe and leave me your comments below. See you next time. Bye.